If you're not ranking number one on YouTube, you're missing out on thousands of views every single month. I know because I've ranked over a thousand videos on YouTube, generating me more than a hundred million views and earning hundreds of thousands of dollars in revenue across my channels. But here's what most people don't understand. You don't need a massive channel to rank number one. In fact, I'm gonna prove it to you by showing you exactly how I rank my videos at the top of YouTube with just zero subscribers. See this video? It's ranking number one for the keyword how to turn off Yakuza hot tub. A video made on a brand new channel with no subscribers, no previous videos and absolutely zero authority. And in one year we generated 15,000 views and it's still going consistently. Now that was just one example, but I can give you countless other cases where my videos made thousands of dollars ranking number one. This isn't some complicated strategy that only works for big creators. In fact, it's actually easier to implement this when you're small. But if you're stuck in a giving up mindset, you are not the one to blame. The typical advice you hear is just make great content and the algorithm and will follow you or post consistently for years and eventually you'll grow but here's the harsh truth when you have a small channel the algorithm isn't looking for you youtube has no incentive to push your content to new viewers when there are already established creators making similar videos i learned this the hard way look at this video i published back in 2020 in the first weeks it got some views but then it completely died this happened because i didn't do keyword research on this topic and did not first find out if people were still searching for it now compare that to this video which started slow but is now getting hundreds of views every single day and has accumulated over half a million views already. All this while the channel has just 2,500 subscribers. The difference is that I discovered a strategy that bypasses the algorithm entirely. So what is my strategy? It's a four-step method, what I like to call the underdog ranking system. This consists of keyword research, finding the right keywords to target within your content, topic validation, ensuring your content idea has search demand and ranking potential, video production, making content that perfectly matches search intent and then SEO optimization setting up your video to outrank the competition now this is what a 10 out of 10 keyword would look like first it has low competition there shouldn't be big channels ranking everywhere for this keyword second good search volume you don't want to rank for a keyword that no one searches for because that's not gonna get you any views. This is where 99% of creators fail. They make videos on topics they think people want to see without checking if they can actually rank for those keywords. Now this is how I approach keyword research as an underdog. For this, I use VidIQ to find potential keywords. So I go to keywords and I start by typing in a broad keyword in my niche. For example, if I'm in an animation niche, I'll type in whiteboard animation and then click search. Now you want to ignore the keyword score right here and go to match terms. This then shows me all the keywords and include the main keyword whiteboard animation, such as whiteboard animation free or Canva whiteboard animation. But we don't stop here. Now we have dozens of keywords related to whiteboard animation and you want to find a phrase that looks interesting and suitable to you. For example, whiteboard animation free. Then you click on the keyword and you click on matching terms again and with every click I'm finding more specific long tail keywords that have less competition. For example, now I find free whiteboard animation software. That's already a much more specific keyword that probably has decent search volume but much lower competition than just whiteboard animation. Same thing for example goes with script whiteboard animation AI for free. For me, free whiteboard animation software looks good so I'm gonna roll with this one. Then once I got my keywords, I need to qualify them. And this brings us to step number two. So I copy the keyword and open up a new page. Then into YouTube search, you want to search for the exact keyword you just found. And now to do keyword research properly, you want to have the VidIQ extension installed on your browser. For this, you need to create a VidIQ account, which you can create through the link in the description. Now, by qualifying keywords, I'm looking for three key factors. One, channel size of ranking videos. Are the top videos from huge channels or smaller ones? Two, current views per hour on the videos. So are these topics still relevant? And three, matching keywords. Does anyone have the exact keyword in their title? Now, let me show you a real example. When I search for the keyword we just found, free whiteboard animation software, we can see that the top ranking video is from a channel with just 200 subscribers subscribers. Very small. Now we can see that right here with the VidIQ extension installed. The second ranking video has 13,000 subscribers, still quite manageable, and the video after that is from a channel with just 1,200 subscribers, also quite small. So overall the competition on this keyword is not extremely big, and mainly covered by small channels. This is a good sign. Next up we need to look at how many people rank for our exact keyword we are trying to target, which is free whiteboard animation software. For this you want to hit Ctrl F on your keyboard and then you want to paste in your keyword Y 
right here and it's gonna show you how many channels are already ranking for our exact phrase. In my case, only one of the top videos has the exact keyword in the title, which again is a good sign. Almost no other creator has optimized this video for the keyword we are trying to target. Ideally, you don't want to have this number right here to be higher than 10. Next up, I open the two highest ranking videos up in a new tab. And again, with the video queue extension installed, we can see how many views these channels are still getting per hour. You want to make sure these videos are still getting views today to make sure the topic as a whole is still relevant. So with the first video right here, you can see on the video queue extension that this graph is consistently going up. This is a really good sign and shows us that the video is not that. When we change to views per hour over time, we can see that right now the video is getting roughly 3 to 4 views per hour at the moment, which is also decent. With the second video, we can see a very similar graph as well, which already tells us this keyword is still popular and still being searched today. Now, in case the views per hour on this topic was zero or the graph was going flat like this one, that would tell us it's probably not a great keyword. Though as our keyword showed great data, this told me I found a good opportunity. A keyword with good search volume, manageable competition, and almost no exact title match. Now, this was just one example showcasing how to do this quickly. For a complete step-by-step -step video, make sure to check out my full keyword research tutorial I'll leave a link down in the description. Once I qualified my keywords I need to create a video that perfectly matches what viewers want which brings us to video creation. The biggest mistake people make is creating content the viewer doesn't want to see. If someone is searching for how to make whiteboard animation video they want a clear tutorial that shows them the exact steps to create this animation from scratch and nothing else. So here's what I recommend you do to increase your chances of ranking. First of all research the current ranking videos. Channels that are currently at the top must be doing something Something right. Now you can watch all of them manually and take the main takes of the videos and create a good script but you can also do this automatically in minutes with this new AI tool. It's called poppy.ai where you can just copy and paste competitive videos into groups, connect the group to a chatbot and ask it to write a unique video script following the videos you added. As you can see on this board I connected five competitive videos and added two script writing videos in another group as well. The way you link them to the chatbot you can ask it to write an original script. So I asked write a script for my video best whiteboard animation software for free use inspiration from the group competitive videos and implement the advice from group copywriting then in just seconds poppy made a completely original script which is pretty much good to go i've implemented poppy into my business and instead of taking multiple days to make a video script we now do it in just a few minutes if you want to check out poppy i'll leave a link for it in the description down as well i would say it's an optional tool for now but for the 100 committed people i would definitely recommend it now for my free animation software video I noticed the existing videos were either outdated or didn't show the process clearly. When people click away from videos quickly YouTube won't rank the video well no matter how good your keyword was. Remember that YouTube wants to show the best results for each search query. If your videos provide more value than the competition you have a good chance of ranking higher as an underdog. Now comes the technical part optimizing your video to rank number one with SEO. First your title needs to include the exact keyword you're targeting and for my example I'll use free whiteboard animation software again. Then to make the title more clickable, I'll add best in front of the keyword and then 2025 after and full comparison after in the brackets. Then I'll make the title prettier by capitalizing the first letters. Now we already have a pretty decent title. Now doing this improves clickability and by putting our keyword first, we are letting YouTube know which topic we are trying to target. Then the description. I always start by copying my title and pasting it in at the top of the description. This reinforces to YouTube what my video is about. Then I go back to VidIQ and with our keyword I go to related keywords instead. Then I select three to five keywords that are close to our main keyword. And for me I added those four right here. Then I scroll down and I hit copy right here. And then with these keywords I want to create a story and naturally incorporate them into the description. You can do that by entering your keywords into the AI description recommendation tool of VidIQ. So you can just paste your keywords right here. They want to hit generate and now it's gonna create a story for you. So here we got three and as you can see it naturally included several related keywords. This helps YouTube understand what my video is about and can help me rank for multiple search terms. So you simply want to hit copy right here and then paste it into the description. And for the thumbnail, I keep it simple and focused on the keyword. And for this title, I created this one. As you can
can see, it shows the text clearly and illustrates what the video will be about. It's in a theme of a whiteboard animation, which in this case is really fitting. And finally, I add tags using the VidIQ suggested tag section. So I add all three of these. Additionally, I go to this website called rapidtags.io, where I can go to the tag generator and paste in our main keyword and hit search. And from here, as you can see, it generates a bunch of related keywords. We then copy those right here, go back to YouTube and paste them in the tag section right here. While tags aren't as important as they used to be, they can still help YouTube categorize your content correctly. But this level of optimization is what gives underdogs the edge. The big channels often get lazy with their SEO because they can rely on the subscriber base. We can't, so we have to be diligent. Always be honest and straight to the point. Don't try to target overly competitive keywords and never make clickbait titles. This leads to poor attention, which will lower your rankings. You also need to be patient, as in the worst case, videos can take up months to rank properly in the search results. I'll take this video, which I uploaded in October 2021 and only started getting traction about 50 months later in December 2022. So in the beginning it seemed dead, but it went on to make over $2,000 in ad revenue, so it was well worth it. Now never consider buying views, subscribers or fake engagement when you think it's not going fast enough. The algorithm is smart enough to see that it's fake and can get you penalized. You need to trust the process, so don't give up if you're not ranking number one immediately. This system works for any niche, whether you're in fitness, cooking, tech, or something very small, there are always keywords you can rank for. With all of that being said, I'll leave all resources down in the description below. If you want to watch my full keyword research guide, click on the video right here and see ya.